In this video, I'm going to show you what I've been working on the last couple of months, trading Central 3.0. Here it is. So when you download it and you open it for the first time, be aware, copying this into your own Notion will take a while, will take between 15 to 30 minutes or something, because it is just so big. But once you've copied it and you open it, you will see this first. Focus, lock in the Trading Central 3.0. So first of all, you see my links that I use every single day. And keep in mind, I made this journal, the Trading Central 3.0, for me, not for you, I made it for myself. The 2.0 and the first version was also made for myself, but there were some things in there that I thought might be handy for you that I wouldn't use on a regular basis. But now in this one, everything is for me. And I think making it this way is just the most beneficial to you guys as well. So every link that I use is up here, my prof firm, Epic 3 Play, everything like that. Then I have a loading bar right here for the quarter, just to make you guys aware guys are already 33 days inside of the first quarter then right here we have a profit and a loss and we have a chart right and guys whenever i discovered this was possible i was so hyped because let's be honest this looks so freaking cool okay let's start at the beginning trading session so first of all whenever your day starts you come here trading session and you press add an item at the beginning of the day you want to start off with pre-session so at the pre-session you see what is your story it is very important to notice what is the story price is going to tell you today, what is price action going to do, and what are you expecting in the markets. So first of all, you do your fundamental work. You check out Forex Factory to see if there is any red folder news, and you place them right here. Just to make yourself aware, okay, this is not a good time to trade. Then I want you to check these three websites, Bar Chart, Wall Street Journal, and the Financial Post. I like to keep up with the current economy, what are the big businesses doing, what can I expect, are there some clues that I can find in the news that might help me with my analysis. Then I want to list the most influential news events today. And then secondly, we go to chart work. Right here, you can copy this one um, if you're trading all the charts, of course, but I'm just trading Euro USD at the moment. You have your daily time frame, your four hour, your one hour, and your 15 minute time frame. This is for your screenshots. Put screenshots in here, put a little explanation with it, and just like I said, create that story for the day. What are you expecting? After you have done that, you go to during the session. During the session, you have again two main areas to focus on. Your thoughts during session and your analysis during session. So the first one, you have your time. So let's say at 12, then I experienced. Right here, you can choose the emotion that you experienced. From frustrated to FOMO to fear to anger, whatever it is. Let's say you are distracted. Uh, for example, I got called by my wife. Um during trading session with bad news for example so these are thoughts that came during your trading day that might have put you off the game now your analysis this is again a blank slate for you if there is something coming up during the day that you want to take notes on you can put it in right here screenshots this is the place to be then whenever you're done trading you go to your post session post session as you can see there's a brain image right here because this is the most important thing of this session. It is your psychology. So again, two main sectors, psychology and the playout. For the psychology, you have your scenario. So whatever happens, maybe got FOMO from a trade. You can again check your emotions. In this case, it will be FOMO. Explanation, did not get tapped in. Revenge traded, for example. Now the reflection, how can you improve on this? Um, whenever this happens, leave the charts. This is a very easy solution to the indirect problem, but it will make you better tomorrow at least. So what will you do differently tomorrow? You can list all of the things that you wrote down right here. For example, you slept not enough last night. For example, tomorrow, sleep enough at least eight hours. What will you do exactly the same tomorrow? Again, a bit of self-reflection to make yourself aware of the things that you are doing, right? Um, so you can write them down here check in at 8 a.m for example now let's go back to the trading central so this one is all filled in then you can go to your daily report card if you had the trading central 2 and 1 you are familiar with this but a trading report card is basically just a grade that you're going to give yourself at the end of the day on how the day went by so daily report card and right here you can see your grade, your PL, the hours of sleep, and the other causes. So that is to be filled in after you give yourself the grade. The PL, let's say for example, it was two grand. And hours of sleep, it was seven. And other causes, my, um, my dog died. I don't know. So 
then you have your checks right here and you have the points. So this is a little different than it was before. Before I didn't work with points, I only worked with the checks. But I found some more important than the other. So for example, filling your pre-session, filling in your post-session and filling in your during session. These are things that you can't miss in my opinion. Because these are things that you miss on purpose. You just lack the discipline and you like to focus and that's why you don't fill them in. You know, if you experience FOMO, if you experience grief as a psychology problem, there is something to do about this and definitely something to be aware of. But if you miss your check-ins, come on, man, you, you just need to do those. So now, let's say if you did those, right here you have point counting. You want to fill in the points that you got from the assignment. So five, as you can see, it's worth five points, four, and then it counts it up right here down the bottom. Then you have your grading system. As you can see, an A plus is 40 points, an A is 35 points, 30 points, 28 points, etc. Be aware, if you are in between grades, take the lowest grade close to your point total. So this means, even if you have 39 points, guys, you will still be in the A category. Because if you want that A plus, we're not going to slack right here. You just need to work your ass off in order to get that A plus. The same with this, if you have 27 points or 26 points, you will still be in that C plus category. Then the fun part comes here. Um, I want you to pay attention to this chart and I want you to pay attention to this profit and loss right here. We go over to the trading journal and let's say we've taken a trade right here. You can take the template taken trade. You can also rename this to, for example, your USD, the 8th of February, basically the trade and short. Then you can select the month, February. And by the way, do select the month because this is important for another aspect. Then the PL, let's say it was 2000. You can fill all the technical data in right here. So we took a trade on EURUSD, it was at 11 o'clock. We hold it open for two hours. Stop loss size was 10, TP was 20, PL was 2000. We did not make an error. And then you can attach screenshots right here. So you do this for every trade that you take. You can add multiple on a day, of course. Then you go back to your chart and to your profit and loss. And you can see the chart has changed. Your profit and loss has changed. Right here, you also have a quick access to the trading journal. It's exactly the same one as you saw right here, but just on your home screen. Then you have the playbook. The playbook is basically just a place where you're going to collect data about your place. You're going to collect screenshots and you're just going to find the perfect trade over and over and over again so that you're aware of your setup and what to look for. Then you have your weekly market outlook. This is what you do every Sunday. Press add item, weekly market outlook, right here the direction. Let's say you expect it to be bearish on your USD. You can attach the screenshots right here. And again, the story, what are you expecting your USD to do? Where is it coming from? Where is it going to? And where do you like to see price before you enter inside of the market? Then your strategy checklist. This is basically just your trading plan inside of a checklist form. Then you have your trading plan. This is the trading plan written out. You have your daily watch list. So for an example, if you're trading multiple pairs, you can write them down right here, the ones that are in play today, because you're not going to find the setup on every pair every single day. So let's say for example, it's your USD. Right here, you can attach a higher time frame screenshots, a lower time frame screenshots, the place where you want to see your entry. And basically you can write out what you want to see before you enter. Displacement, for value gap, whatever it is, right? Then right here, missed trades. This is something very, very important, guys. And it is something that I want my mentees to do every single week. So basically what it is, at the end of the week, you go back over the past week that you traded and you're going to look for the missed trades that are within your plan. Press missed trades. Right here, you can pick a reason. Risk management, not on the charts, not paying attention or scared. If you need to add more, you can. Then the pair. Euro USD, the risk to what that you missed on, let's say it was a one over two, and you can attach screenshots. If you need to write something below it, you can do that right here, there's plenty of space. Then you have your backtesting space. You guys are most probably all familiar with this. I think it is still the best way to backtest this. And some of you guys ask how I use this to backtest. So basically what I do by open FX replay, I split my screen up in about five parts. Four of those parts are FX replay, and one of the five is Notion. So then I go over, I take my trades. Let's say for an example, I took a long position right here. It was a beautiful win. <laughs> and then I split my screen up in two. So I have my entry time frame right here on the left and I have my high time frame right here on the right. So then this was in one minute and this is in 15 minutes. It's all perfectly, right? So then we come over here, I do a copy image. Let's say this was on a Monday. I just paste it in right here and that's it. 
my traders journals. I think this is still the easiest way to journal if you're not using the FX replay journal, of course, that is the one right here. Then I still think this is the easiest way to do it. And even if you're using the FX replay journal, I'd still think the notion way is a little bit faster. So then you have your statistics. So you have your statistics listed by month. So month January is also the total. Month February, month of March, April, May, June, July, every month in the book. The months right here are listed by top performing. Then right here we have our routines. It is very important to have a morning and an evening routine, guys. So right here you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can fill in how many weeks you've completed this one already. Then the evening routine, exactly the same. You have a work timer. If you want to start trading, you need to do this focus, guys. And for me, I work around 15 minutes, take around 15 off. So I use this tool to help me with this. You guys know that I have this one right here that I most of the time use. But whenever I don't have this with me, this work timer is perfectly. So if you don't have this one, you don't need to buy it. You can just use the work timer inside of the trading journal. And then again, the chart. And right here, we have the quick access to the trading journal. So guys, I hope you enjoy the Trading Central.